Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome to Candy's Cozy Couch. My name is Candice, and my nickname is Candy. That's how I came up with that really glamorous name. Glamorous. Glamorous name. At least I think it's pretty glamorous. Ha 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 ha, me and my ladybug. This is actually a sleeping bag, but it's too small for me and I can't really fit in it. Oh well, I like the head of it. There you go. All right, and I'm going to get into my, see, I done downgraded on the keyboard. I did. Yep, I went knick-knack, tic-tac again. It's all right. Let's see what we got. Hold on. Ha-ha, here we go. Can include all ten of my fingers, all eight fingers and two thumbs, all of my digits on the keyboard, <laughs> on the little ding dang ding dang ding dang dang keyboard. Yes, that's right. I went, I downgraded. I did because my 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 main piano keyboard was taking up a lot of space, and unfortunately, I didn't have the time to focus the energy on playing it. But don't worry because everywhere I go, there's a keyboard or a piano. So all the places that I frequent, it's a keyboard or a piano, and I can just sit down. So I'm just like, you know what, I I will just, yeah. But I actually am going to get um, uh, a keyboard about twice the size of this one, but that is a little more substantial. That really does sound like a little piano or whatnot. But I just need something less bulky. But a musician bought that keyboard off of me, if you guys remember. A while back, I had a, a keyboard on my table. The whole length of my table, too. It took it up. I just needed the space. But anyway, I digress, lamenting about the fact that I gave away a beautiful, um, actual professional keyboard. But I put it in a professional's hands. So, checklist time. Yes, here we go. Boys and girls, I hope you had a mm, special day today. We're going to go with special. Yes, I hope you had a special day. My day was certainly special. Mm -hmm. And I hope you did something fun and exciting and brand new. I hope you did something different. I hope you did something spectacular. I hope you did something awesome and memorable and unique. Okay? Something that you can always look back on for years to come. That's important. Try to make it that every day. How about that? And how's those dinner times? I hope you had a great dinner and your bellies are full and satisfied. And that you also had conversation and communication and connection, okay, with your family members. I hope you did that. And listen, I hope the chores got done, that you helped out around the house. You used your teamwork and you you cleaned up your rooms because that's important. You want to make sure those bedrooms are clean. You get to go to bed in a clean room and wake up in a clean room. That's a win-win. Now, I hope that you did homework. And if not assigned to you by anyone, I hope you just did academic practice where you found whatever subject to work on to help stimulate your big, beautiful, brilliant brain. Aha, yes. Keep you guys smarty pants, right? All right, I hope that you picked out your PJs too. Okay, whatever that you're deciding that you're going to wear for tonight. And also go ahead and pick out your clothes that you're going to wear for tomorrow so you don't have to fumble around in the morning when you wake up, okay? And I hope you did a special family activity in the house around the home where you kind of, something special like a, a ritual that you have, excuse the noise. Thursdays are the new Friday, I'm, I'm convinced. Everybody's just out. Either that or the weather's really nice and everybody wants to come out. So the motorcyclists and stuff are down here revving it up. Sounds like I'm at a racetrack. But anyway, I hope that where was I? Now I gotta look and see. Um, let's see, we talked about picking up the clothes. I literally got off track because I'm apologizing for the background noises. Um, well, anyway, here we go. 
Um, make sure that you, so it is loud again. Ah! Anyway, make sure that you take your bath and that you wash your bodies from head to toe. You already know. You want to get them nice and clean. You know what I mean. Okay? And then dry off really well with your towel. And then make sure that you put on lotion so your, your um, skin can be nice and soft. Okay? Um, da -da 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 -da. Let's see where we at. And don't forget to wash your hair, brush your hair, comb your hair, wrap up your hair, cover your hair. I got my Dr. Seuss uh, hat on here, um, but I'm not going to wear it to, to sleep. But if you have a nightcap, you might wear that. Okay, let's see. Don't forget to use the bathroom one last time before you go to bed. So you don't have any accidents or interruptions in the middle of your dream time, right? And don't forget to clean out your ears. <laughs> In your nose, honk, honk. You know, we want to be able to breathe and hear. How about that? Clearing out all of those sinuses, open up those olfactory system. We want to get it so you can take deep breaths and not be stuffy. Um, let's see, where else are we? Um, da -da -da -da, you gotta brush your teeth, make them shiny, gleamy, and white, and then floss in between the gaps. And then don't forget to rinse out your mouth with a mouth rinse or just some cold water or something just to kind of make sure your breath is all nice and fresh. How about that? Um, now, if you do need to move about at night, make sure you turn on your night lights. That'll give you a little illumination so that you can get around without hopefully causing too much disturbance. But if your dreams are good, you might stay asleep until it's time to wake up in the morning. Now, don't forget to read a book. That's what I'm here for. I'm going to be reading a bedtime story to you, so make sure you read a book. Or have someone read a book to you. Yes, indeed. Or just talk a story out. Tell a story. Make a story. Create a story. But make it a part of your bedtime ritual, okay? So, here we go. We got to do those I love yous, hugs, kisses, and smooches for your family members. You know, you want to make sure that you show your affection and your care for them. One last time before everyone goes to bed. I think I skipped a couple things. If you take a vitamin or a bedtime uh, medication or something, please make sure that you, you get uh, supervision and help from your parents. And that goes for if you have any special equipment that, to, that you use as well. Let's make sure we do that without forgetting. Um, let me, did I skip something? I got to put the checklist back over to make sure I didn't skip something. I, you know, I just want to be thorough. Everybody knows what they need to do on their checklist. So if it's not on this list and it's something that you need to do, make sure it gets done. Like, make sure that it, when you did your chores that your bedrooms are clean, okay? That's important. Um, pick out your cuddle buddy so that you have one available. Make sure you declutter those beds. Yes. Don't be leaving a whole bunch of stuff in your bed. How you going to fit in there if everything else is in there, okay? Make sure you're comfortable, boys and girls. I want you to get a good night's sleep, all right? Now, let's get ready for our story. But hold on. I want you guys to make sure that you say your prayers. This is the most important part. Say your prayers and make sure that you do that before you drift off in the streamland. Very important. Now, I think that I can check off the checklist. Check, 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 check. Check, 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 check. We did that. If I missed anything, no biggie. Everyone's um, checklist is unique. Once you know what needs to be done, all you have to do is get it done. All right, this story might be a little bit short, but I'm wearing my Dr. Seuss hat because why? It's a Dr. Seuss book. Would you look at there? It's Dr. Seuss's nursery, okay? Dr. Seuss is one fish, two fish, three, four, five fish. And this is based on and inspired by Dr. Seuss's one fish. Two fish, red fish, blue fish. So this is probably going to be a little bit different as far as what the words are. But we know that story. One fish, two fish, three, four, five fish. One fish, two fish, three, four, five. This one has a car to drive. Children will love counting along with their favorite fish in this uh, sturdy board book with child safe fish shaped beads. A super simple, super sturdy classic. All right. Well, let's get into it. All right. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Okay. 
All right, so look, check this out. One fish, two fish, right? Red fish, blue fish. Mm -hmm. Black fish, blue fish, old fish, new fish. Ooh -wee. Look at the fish. Can y'all make y'all fish mouth? And the eyes. Oh man, okay, I quit. I don't want to scare you guys away. Three fish, four fish. Here comes more fish. Look, three red ones, four blue ones. Here's more fish, five green ones. Ooh, three, four, five. Once I call the fish alive. Anyway, this one has a little star. Say, what a lot of fish there are. That one has a little star. Can you see the little star? See it? Oh, I see it. And then there's a whole bunch of fish. I love the pretty colors. You see it. You see it. One. One fish. Two. Two fish. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. This one has a car to drive. One fish. Two fish. Three. Four. Five. This one has a car to drive. I said it twice because first it was the number and then it was the word that spells out the number. Oh wow, that's the end. Oh. You guys will have fun with this. Pink, green, red, blue, yellow. Back it up, yellow, blue, red, green, pink. So that's pretty fun. Well, that's the end. That was quick. That was quick, wasn't it? One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. How about something to do fish? Three fish, four fish. Here comes more fish. Five fish, six fish, seven fish, eight fish. Hey, don't be too terribly late fish. Nine fish, ten fish, begin again fish. Or you can just bring it to the end fish. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I made that up off the top of my head just now. I'm so proud of myself. Anyway, boys and girls, haha, -ha, before I get too silly, because we know what time it is. That was a cute little story. I liked it. That's why I'm wearing my hat. Love me some Dr. Seuss. You can't tell me nothing. All right. All right, boys and girls, as I feel like I'm about to sneeze. Uh-oh. Hold up. <coughs> Y'all see me make that V? Mm-hmm. Oh, I might have to do it again. Hold on, let me make sure. And I'll be cleaning out my honk, honk, nose and <laughs> ears and all that good stuff as soon as I get done with the story. And I am. But now I got to tell you the best part. It's time for the dreamland. Hey, if you want to dream about being in the ocean, in the tropical area with a whole bunch of beautiful, awesome fish, sounds like a plan to me. But you can dream about whatever you want. It's really up to you. So you know what you got to do. Get in bed. Checklist is done. Time to have some real fun. And get some rest at the same time. This is beautiful. All right, get in bed. Comfy, cozy, snug as a bug in a rug. Tucked in tight. Ready for a good night. Safe and sound. Time to lay down. Come on, y'all. Yes, indeed. We got to do it. Close your eyes. Whisper to yourself what you would like to dream about. Whisper. Don't tell everybody. And allow your body to relax. Know that you are okay. Okay? Get ready for a new day. But you got to have your dream first. Relax. Allow yourself to fall off to sleep. So that you can dream your special dream. And hopefully wake up in the morning and tell everybody about it. All right, boys and girls, get to it because I know you can do it. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.